My friends, welcome to my guide on modifiers for Fantasy Grounds Unity Combat. I'll be completely honest, I just totally forgot to put this in my newest video. Uh, so I recommend that before you watch this, you either watch my player tutorial for combat or my video on combat mechanics and automation. All right, so first off, Rogue is gonna attack this gold dragon with just a normal attack roll. Easy enough, we see that the D20 is rolled and then the relevant modifier from the character sheet is applied. Modifiers. So in the bottom left hand button, there's the freehand modifier button. You just left click and then type in any modifier that you want. That will be applied to your next die roll of any kind. In this case, bad example since we rolled a natural one, as you can see, this will be calculated as an automatic miss. But uh, besides that, you saw that the 30 was added to the nine that's already on the character sheet for a total of 40. This can also go into the negatives. You just wanna put a minus before it. So now we see that 15 was subtracted from nine for a negative modifier. Then there are also disadvantage and advantage buttons. So first up advantage, you'll see that it rolls two die automatically and that the green one shows the higher roll. For disadvantage, same thing, except the red die is the lower roll that was capped. Also for cover, there are buttons for, there are buttons for the most usual cover. So for example, if this dragon had three quarters cover, we would just click the minus five button and you can see that five has been subtracted from nine. All right, let's switch over to the wizard and do some of the damage modifiers. So to get to the damage modifiers, you just go to this plus minus button. The attack modifiers are pretty much redundant with what we just did. Um, so first up, the wizard is going to cast disintegrate with no modifiers. So we roll for damage and there we have it. If we wanna roll for critical damage, this will double the total number of die dice being rolled. Yep, that's a lot of dice. All of the extra dice will be colored green to show the critical. Then we could also click the max damage button. This will keep the same number as the original dice, but every single one of these dice will be counted as the highest number the dice can roll. So they are all counted as six. And then half damage, easy enough. Whatever you roll will be cut in half. So we can see we rolled 72 but only 36 damage was actually applied. If you roll a critical strike, you don't need to click the critical button. Your next damage roll after rolling a critical strike will automatically have this automation built into it. Also, when it comes to uh, effects, effects that Fantasy Grounds recognizes and are parsed. Um, so for example, if we paralyze this dragon, we now see the paralyzed symbol if we go over to the cleric and we attack the dragon, you will see that we automatically roll with advantage. We don't need to use the advantage button. So whenever there are effects that Fantasy Grounds recognizes, you don't need to use the modifiers. Um, it, it will automatically make the proper roll for you. So that about wraps it up for modifiers. I hope this was helpful. About now, some links will be showing up on the screen for my other videos. Feel free to check them out. Have a good one, folks.